Hello everyone, thanks for buying my action. In this tutorial I will show you how to use Color Splash Photoshop action and how to customize the effect after the action processing is finished. To open your photo, go to File, Open, choose your photo and click Open. And now to load the action go to Window, Actions, click here, Load Actions and choose the action that came with download. You will see here that you got uh, five directions of color splash, middle, right, left, up and down. Make sure that your image is a background layer, if it's not go to layer, new and choose layer from background. And also make sure that your image mod is a RGB color mod, 8-bit canon. Now I want to make uh, color splash, on this image I want to make color splash in left direction. So I would ne uh, need a little bit more space here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to expand the canvas, go to image, canvas size, and now uh, because I want uh, more uh, space here, I will click here and now just uh, increase the value of uh, white. I will set about 3000 pixels and click OK. If you want to add more space uh, here on the right, uh, then uh, click here and increase the wide uh, value. If you want to add more space up, then click here and increase the height value. If you need, uh, if you need more space down, then click here and also increase the height value. And if you need the uh, space uh, all over the image, uh, then click here and increase the wide and height value. Okay, so now make a new layer, take a brush tool, uh, pick some hard brush and brush the areas where you want to apply the effect. You don't have to be too precise here. Okay, after you finish with uh, brushing, uh, what you need to do is to double click on uh, this layer name and type brush. Uh, letter B must be uppercase and all other letters lowercase. And now all you need to do is to choose the direction and click play. I will choose the left direction and just click play. And here is the effect. You will see that uh, the effect got a, a really lot of layers, so action processing uh, can take up to five minutes. It depends on your image size. As you can see, you got a brush layer here, before and after layer. Uh, Adjustments uh, group of layers. Here you got a change color layer, and uh, this layer will change the color of the whole image. So if you want to change the color of the whole image, double click here and change the value of hue. And uh, we got a add sharpen layer. If you want to increase the sharpen, uh, just increase uh, opacity value to higher values. Or if you want to lower the uh, to lower the sharpen, just lower the opacity value. We got the uh, add saturation layer. If you want to increase the saturation, just increase the saturation value. Or if you want to lower the saturation, 
lower the saturation value. Uh, here we got the uh, add contrast layer. If you want to increase the contrast, just increase this value here. Or if you want to lower the contrast, lower this value. And we got the uh, add vibrance layer. You can increase the saturation here or lower the saturation. And you can in increase the vibrance or uh, lower it. And here we got a color splash group. Here we got a color dots group. As you can see, you can move uh, all dots, you can uh, transform, uh, transform them, uh, or if you want to remove any of the, dot, uh, any of the dots, just uh, select uh, uh, this layer mask and take a brush tool, uh, set for, uh, foreground color to black, and just click on the places where you want to remove the dots. And also, here you see that uh, color uh, dots are la uh, layered. So, if you uh, want to remove exa exactly uh, some group of the dots, th then select uh, that group and click on its uh, layer mask. Uh, again, take a brush tool, set foreground color to black, and just click on the place where you want to remove it. Also, you can create more color dots. Uh, hold the control button and select some of the color dots layer right click duplicate layers and you got the more color dots also uh, if you want to change the color only of the color dots then turn on the visibility of this layer double click here and change the value of hue you will change only the color of the dots. Here we got uh, color lines. They are also layered. And also if you want to remove any of the color lines, just select um, this layer mask, take a brush tool, set foreground color to black and click on place where you want remove the color lines or if you want to remove exactly some of the lines and uh, you don't want to remove other lines then find uh, select that color line select its layer mask set foreground color to black and remove it and if you want to change the color only of the color lines uh, then turn on visibility of this layer, double click here and change the value of hue. Also you can create more color lines if you duplicate some of these layers. Here we got a color line texture. If you want to remove it on some places, just take a brush tool, set foreground color to black, select uh, its uh, layer mask of uh, this group, and click on the place we want to remove it. And if you remove uh, some of the layers using the uh, layer mask technique, like here. Uh, and you want to remove the visibility of that layer, then set foreground color to white and click on the places where you want to return the layer that you removed. Uh, here we got a fluid uh, texture.
you can also remove it with uh, black brush uh, or while uh, color mask of fluid texture is selected or if you remove some parts you want to return them, return, uh, them just uh, brush the areas with white color and we got the edge strokes group here we got two edge strokes layer if you want to change the color of this edge stroke then turn on visibility of this color fill double click here and choose the color that you like also if you want to change the color of this uh, edge stroke then turn on visibility of this color field double click here and choose the color and also you can change the vis uh, color of both edge strokes uh, by turning on visibility of this layer the double click here change the value of hue Here we got a color drops layer. You will see that uh, color drops are sorted by size, and uh, also that we got um, color drops and color drop strokes. Now, if you want to change the color of all color drops and uh, color drop strokes, then turn on visibility of this layer double click here and change the value of hue also if you want to remove color dots on some places then select this uh, layer mask take a brush tool set foreground color to black and click on places where you want to remove the color drops or if you want to return them back then set foreground color to white and click on place where you want to return them uh, but you also can remove uh, for example only small color drops just select small, uh, small color drops layer mask and then set foreground color to black and remove them or return them with white color that you can do for all of these groups and also you can change the color only of the small color drops by turning on visibility of this layer double click here and change value of hue or you got that adjustment layer in all of these groups so you can change uh, the color separately of uh, for example you can change only the color of large color drop strokes or uh, uh, change the uh, color of only of uh, large color drops, medium color drops and so on. And also you can duplicate these groups to create uh, more color drops of uh, or uh, we can duplicate them uh, only some of the layers and create more drop uh, more color drops but you can select also the whole groups duplicate them and create more color drops and we got a color motion layer here as you can see if you want to uh, lower the color motion just uh, change this value here And if you want to remove color motion in some places, you can also click on the color motion layer mask, take a brush tool, set foreground color to black, click on places where you want to remove the color motion, or, or if you want to return it back, then just uh, set foreground color to white and click on places where you want to return it. Uh, here we got a model layer. Uh, you can also remove some parts of the model 
so it looks like he's uh, dispersing in uh, color drops to do that uh, select its layer mask set foreground color to black I will choose a soft brush here and just click on place where you want to remove it you will see that uh, edge strokes are uh, visible here so if you want to remove the edge strokes select the edge strokes uh, layer mask and you can remove them or fluid texture color line texture and so on and here we got a background color layer to change the uh, background color just double click here and choose the color that you like or you can uh, use the eyedropper tool just click and he will pick the color from place where you clicked and if you want to place your own background turn on uh, the visibility of this layer and ter turn off the visibility of this layer now you will see that this layer is a smart object so what you need to do is to double click here and uh, right, uh, delete this layer right click here and go to delete layer and go to file place choose your background image and click place I will have to uh, uh, enlarge this uh, image uh, if you want to keep the proportion of the image then hold the shift button and click on some of these four corners and just drag it in uh, some direction and now just go to file save and your background will be automatically added here as you can see you can also uh, move this layer uh, above this one just click and drag it up and now turn on the visibility of this layer and now you can lower the opacity of your background if you want or change its color mode and make some interesting effect uh, that would be all if you got uh, any questions uh, please contact me via my Envato profile page bye